Tonight, a jury convicted a man on hate crime charges for the murder of a transgender woman. WIS reporter Nick Neville has been following this case and has the details on tonight's verdict. A somber night here in Columbia as a jury convicted DeQuay Ritter on all three counts in the murder of Dime Doe. This landmark case, prosecutors say, sends a message to the entire nation that if you're someone who is judged for your sexual orientation or gender identity, you should be free to be who you are. Prosecutors had argued that this is really a simple case about who killed Dime Doe. They've said the defendant was the only person with the motive and opportunity to do so. The defense had asserted his innocence. Jurors heard four days of witness testimony and saw nearly 100 pieces of evidence, including pieces of two interviews of the defendant with state and federal law enforcement, where he's accused of lying to investigators about seeing the victim the day of the killing. Prosecutors argue that Ritter killed Dime to stop word of their intimate relationship from spreading in the small, tight-knit community. And after the murder, the government says he took steps to cover it up, destroying evidence, burning clothes, hiding the murder weapon, lying to law enforcement, and encouraging his friends not to talk about what they knew. This case stands as a testament to our committed effort to fight violence that is targeted against those who may identify as a member of the opposite sex for their sexual orientation or for any other protected characteristic. Ritter will be sentenced at a later date. He faces life in prison without the possibility of parole. Reporting in Columbia, Nick Neville, WIS News 10.